make it realistic, you know, you gotta have the thing where your arm and fingers come out the end. You know those Michelin Man costumes you see them on TV with the guy running? Make some great demos and everything else, but maybe not the best because it's not realistic. They may go to bite a guy in downtown Toronto, you just robbed the bank, and the dog is gonna be looking for the Michelin Man. <laughs> That's the guy's just running down the street without it, just looking at him. Be confused about whether he should be biting that person or not. I love the non-control of people here, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, best job ever. I'm gonna fight my dog and I'll release him. I'm gonna fight my dog, I'll release him. I'm gonna fight my dog. dog slobber now, but see how good a shape we're in, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, good question. The dogs are trained to bite on the arm. We don't want them biting anywhere because we're responsible for where that dog bites and what injuries happen to that person, right? We've got to justify our use of force. So if the dog bites somebody in the neck, that could be really bad. <laughs> Unless it was justified, that would be okay, but you know, the guy's got one extra fish. Let him go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all we have. We know we're going to get close to lunch, probably late. But is there any questions? We'll gladly take questions. Yes. Question was, what happens if the guy has a gun and he's aiming at us? Drive time, let's shoot him first. If not, you let the dog go. Like it's there to save your life, right? Or your life, or their life. <laughs> no, you don't train to go for guns, you train to go for the arm. Good, easy target. Do the dogs have protective gear as well? Do the dogs have protective vests? No, no, no protective vests for the dogs, sorry. They don't? No. Do the dogs get along? They do because we don't let them play with each other. They're never loose, like that's as close as they ever get. Uh, they're always separated, they're always in you're always in control of the dog. Even at training where it's six of our dogs doing obedience, we don't let them sit there and smell each other, try to bite each other, none of that crap goes on. It's, they listen, it's obedience time, right? If they want to, we correct them. 